everyone. So something a bit different for this week. Pre-filming a little bit of the progress for you of the new painting project that I'm going to be working on for the next few weeks. So yeah, enjoy. I will put a fun transition in here now. <laughs> Hello again, everyone. I am just going to step you through what I am doing just to kind of start the initial preparations for this drawing or painting. So uh, right now I am just looking up some inspiration images. I'm thinking comic book style will be a really cool way to do it. So I'm just sort of having a look at the colors, having a look at what the shapes look like, the way that the figures are drawn. And then I'm gonna start some initial sketching. So for sketching, I am just starting out with really basic shapes. Uh, so you can see I'm sort of just sort of focusing on ovals, uh, basic outlines of proportions and that sort of thing. Uh, what this allows me to do is just get a very simple sort of outline of what I want the image to look like. And it'll allow me to put everyone's faces together and create a bit of a composition later on. So you can see I'm just putting in basic uh, parts of features. So I'm not even really going into like eyes and nose and all that sort of stuff. I'm just really doing outlines of the uh, main parts of the figure and just making sure they look reasonably accurate. Because it's digital, I will be able to go back in later and I will be able to draw over the top of these and then that will allow me to sort of go into a bit more detail. But for now, what I'm trying to do is get the basic sketch and then that will allow me to see what it all looks like together. And it will allow me to create a bit of a design um, and give me a good idea of what it's going to look like all sort of at once. <laughs> so, uh, the way that I'm doing this is I'm using an app called Procreate and what that allows me to do, I guess it's kind of similar to Photoshop in that I can draw in layers. So I can look at the photo and then I can create a new layer and draw next to the photo. Uh, and what that means is that I can then um, get rid of the photo and all I'll see is a sketch. And then I can do individual sketches on all different layers and then I can move them all around independently. Uh, and then I can create sort of one image using all those different layers. It sounds a bit odd and I don't know if I explained that very well, but <laughs> um, that just sort of gives me a bit of flexibility in terms of getting the image right and getting it to look how I want it to look. Uh, so you can see that I'm just doing really basic outlines. You may have noticed that a couple of times the outlines seem to change. So they seem to like maybe get a bit longer, a bit shorter without being rubbed out. Uh, so what I'm doing there is I'm actually selecting a section of that drawing and I'm able to move that section independent of the entire thing. So that just allows me to adjust proportions if I think they're not looking quite right. Um, the other thing that I'm doing is I'm putting horizontal and vertical lines through the faces. So that's just me mapping out where the eyes should go, where the nose should go, where the mouth should go very roughly, just giving me a bit of an idea of what the proportion should kind of look like. Um, and then I'll go back into more detail later when I've got the whole thing set how I want it to be set. <laughs> um, the other thing I'm doing as well is I'm just sort of drawing kind of instinctually. So I'm just sort of having a look and then um, really roughly plotting out where I think everything's going to go. The other thing that I'm doing is I'm adjusting proportions based on other features. So you can see I'm about to move this hand down um, just because I noticed that the bottom line is where the mouth should go and that's where it's lining up with on the photo before I had it lining up with the nose, which would have been a bit high. So you're sort of looking at those features and lining things up along with other things. <laughs> um, basically like trying to balance out the drawing based on the features that you can see. And I will continue to do that later on once I start doing uh, more detail as well. So basically just doing really, really quick outlines. 
Um, this isn't everyone that's going to be in the drawing as well or in the painting. So uh, this just gives me a very sort of quick and easy way to see where everyone's poses are going to be, um, what looks good next to each other, that sort of thing in terms of like um, negative, like uh, the space that you're leaving in between people. And if I want to put some sort of extra um, background and stuff like that in there and make it look really sort of comic book and like pop arty, uh, this will give me the basic sort of building blocks to get that started. I also have to look at the canvas size that I'm doing as well because the canvases I'll be painting on are three meters long. So I may have to also adjust the way that I'm drawing digitally. So when it projects, I don't have to like squish it or extend it too much and everything stays kind of in proportion. That's the basic rundown, I guess. I will keep working on this over the next week or so and you'll see it developing in terms of me adding more people and the composition or like the whole image sort of looking a bit more like one uh, painting, I guess, instead of just a bunch of different people. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and see you next week.